Hi guys and welcome back to our FIFA 19 Sunderland Road to Glory career mode. Now, in the last episode we did uh, play a couple of games in the league. Uh, we're still unbeaten, still going very well, but we also did sell uh, Brian Oviedo, which left us with a little bit of money. Not a massive amount, a little bit. So, what I have been doing is going through a load of your guys' suggestions and uh, previous suggestions from previous episodes and looking through the transfer hub with players that we've already got there. And, of course, I said I did want a central midfielder. In my head, I kind of wanted a more defensive-minded central midfielder because uh, we, we have plenty of options in the attacking midfielder sort of department that can play there and in other positions, whereas the only kind of real CDM that we have that fits the bill in terms of you know tacking, tackling ability and uh, you know, marking, standing tackle, uh, slide tackle, blah, 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 that kind of thing. The only player we have for that is Max Power, and we don't really have any other defensive-minded midfielders other than that, really. So I was trying to think of maybe a CDM, and the one play there was a few players, there's two or three. There's a Beningame here, Ben Beningame, who he'll, he'll obviously have a load of potential from Everton, although I think his wages may do us over a little bit there. We'll probably be able to afford him just, but I think his wages might just do us over. But his stats aren't massively impressive as they are. For example, his strength is 59. Of course, we can train it, but I'd like someone to be a bit more sort of naturally bulky, a bit naturally more sort of, you know, stronger, basically. So the other one I did have in my head was Tom Bayliss. He can play the centre mid, CDM, or right midfielder. He's more of a central midfielder for me. He isn't, again, he isn't the strongest, which kind of put me off a little bit. The reason I looked at him really is because in real life, when we did play Coventry recently, he was very, very impressive for such a young lad. Very good on the ball, very good dribbler. He's um, you know, got a bit of pace about him. He's, he's really good passer of the ball. His distri distribution is absolutely excellent. But again, it's not quite the CDM that I had in mind. It's someone to kind of play under power, really, that I'm looking for. A bit of a younger player who can tackle, who can hit hard. So that left me with another two players. Obviously, we've, I'd look at Tom Bayliss. I thought, no. Beningame, I thought, no. Now, there are two players that can play the CDM as well, and that is Reese Oxford and Trevor Chalibur. If anything, Chalibur has been probably suggested a lot more than Oxford. They've both been suggested suggested, sorry, quite a lot throughout the series so far. Chalibur probably just, just edges it in terms of the amount of uh, suggestions. But I think Chalibur will probably be the best one to go for. Is six foot three, can play as a centre back and a CDM. He's, he's very strong with 78. It, that'll only improve. Um, he's not, of course, you know, he's, he's not the slowest. Sorry, uh, interceptions is pretty decent. His jumping is half decent. Stand tackle, slide tackle, heading accuracy, marking. It's all in the sort of mid to late 60s, which is very good. And we can train him up a little bit as well in that respect. So that will give us another option as a CDM. I think the only thing that's holding me back with um, with Oxford would more than likely be his wages because he obviously does play for a Premier League club and I don't think we'd probably be able to get him. And the good thing about these two, Oxford and Chalibur as well, is they both have player faces. But I have decided to try and go for Trevor Chalibur. I think it'd be a decent little signing. Of course, he might not get loads of game time, but it basically just gives me another option as a CDM. So I am going to go for him and see what we can do. So I'll start off and I will offer 1 million. See if I can do anything with that. 1 million. 1.1. That's absolutely fine. 1.1 million. Sorted. I can't imagine his wages being, you know, huge. So we'll go into it and try and sign him. I hope you do like this signing, guys. I really do like this signing, especially that he can play as a centre-back and as a CDM as well. And I think his height is a big thing as well. Like I've mentioned before, I do like bigger players, particularly in sort of more defensive positions. Okay, so I've offered him a rotation role, which is what it'll be, and he's quite happy with that. He's accepted a five-year contract, which is absolutely brilliant. I'll disregard a release clause. We don't want any of that. And I can't imagine his wages being massive being at Ipswich. Well, I'll offer 5K and see what he says to that. That's fine. And it's sorted. It is over the line, guys. And that will more than likely, well, it definitely is, going to be our last signing of this transfer window. So this first transfer window in the championship, it's looking very good. So we've got Chalaber who obviously can play as a centre-back and a CDM. A brilliant, brilliant little signing there. We've got Oberlin, Vyman, Breverton and Captain Twan to be as well. So, rounded up, I think that transfer window in the Championship, our first window in the Championship, that is very, very solid. We probably won't make too many moves. I can't see us making moves in the January transfer window. Although, in saying that, I think by the time we get to January, we'll get a better idea of what kind of players aren't we playing and for whatever reason. 
you know, so we'll we'll find out they might be players who we think are all right now, or they might fit in the squad, but we might not be playing them as much, so we might end up selling them and making a bit of money that way. But that is the transfer window rounded off. So with that out of the way, we are now going into the Carabao Cup against Leeds. I'm hoping we can get uh, some kind of cup run going this year. It'd be nice, even if it is just like the quarterfinal or something. Oh, I really like that Leeds kit. It's quite cool, that. So this is the lineup we're going to be going with against Leeds. We have Plazari in goal. We have Henry, Captain Swansby. Baldwin will be making an appearance in this game. And Acapo across the back. We have Gooch in that sort of attacking midfield role, role there, sorry. Because you know that the whoever I play on the left of that centre is set to get forward. So I'm going to try Gooch there. So it's almost like an attacking midfield there, midfield role there for him, sorry. Uh, Power is the CDM. And Amersfoort within that midfield three as well. So we have Robinson, Madger and Breverton. Up top, let's get into it. And here we are, guys, under the lights. It's a really, really rainy evening as we take on Leeds. Swans will be leaders out. Can this be the start of something special? Let's have it, boys. Literally nothing has happened in this opening 10 minutes. They're just keeping hold of the ball, but they have lost it now. Knock it on for Brereton. Go on, son. Finish it. Finish it. Yes, it's a beautiful finish. Right in the top corner. It is literally the first chance of the game. The first 10 minutes, Leeds have just passed the ball around the back for God knows how long. It's been impossible to get the ball off him. The first time we managed to gain control, Breverton makes the most of it. Runs onto the ball. That's a great, great finish from him. Brilliant start to the game 10 minutes in. And we're in the lead. Come on. Come on, Akpo. Get across to him, son. Get across to him. Don't give him that much room. Oh, he's missed the sliding challenge. Loads of space here, around the edge of the box. Close him, close him, that's it. Close him, they can't do anything here. Can't do anything. Get away, get away, get away! Thank God he's hit the shot straight at Plazari. Anywhere else and they would have been level. Oh no, here they come now, down this left side. Get across to him, get across to him, Twan's a beat. Oh, that's a bad, bad challenge. Oh, he'll get a buck in it. Sorry, booked here, surely. Really, really bad challenge, and they have a free kick in a decent position now. Leads, get it out. That's yours, keeper. Easy, well in, easy as you like. That'll do. Lost the ball in a dangerous position here. Come on! Oh, thank God, Plazaris held it. It's just all leads. It really is. They're just holding the ball like this for ages, but now we do win the ball back. Get the ball down for Brereton. Go on, son. Find the back post. It's not a bad ball. It's been hooked away. Go on, Gooch. Oh, surely, ref, he's been pulled back there, man. Just as he's about to pull the trigger, he's been pulled back, but the ref has given nothing on the edge of the box there. And they do break. Leeds, come on, get across. It's a very good ball to him, headed. What a save that is. What a save from Plazari. It's the first time I can honestly say we're just getting absolutely hammered here. Keeper, get a punch on it, well in. Losing it again in stupid positions. Hold him up, hold him up. Get it away. We just can't gain control of the ball at all. Oh, thank God is it over. I, honestly, I don't know what to do, guys. They're closing us down so quick. If we just manage to keep the ball ourselves for a bit, the pressure they're putting us under is just insane. Acapo, go on, son. Make you run in behind. Brereton. Oh, he does play him. It is Brereton. Good first touch. To the back post. Get your head on it. It's been nicked away. That should be a corner in the final minute of this first half. It's only probably the second or third time we've even been near their box. But it has been whipped in. Headed away. And I think that should be half time in a minute. Yes, it is. It is, and it is now. I'm, I'm really glad we're in front, but the performance hasn't been great at all. But in saying that, it's mainly just Leeds who have been so good. I don't think we've been particularly bad. Just on the ball, it's so, so hard to get it off him. I think we're just going to have to defend and see this one out, guys, if we can. And the second half is underway. Come on, lads, just defend for your life. If the Leeds come out playing the way they did in the, in the first. Got two and get two and well in. Swansby with the block. Gets it out wide. Hold him up. Don't dive in. Don't dive in. Oh, shit. He's got loads of room on the edge of the box. Get across to him. It's a great save from, from Plazari. God, Plazari isn't an easy word to pronounce when you're panicking. Well in. Come on, let's break now. Let's break. Please, Brereton, over the top. Chase it. You're so much faster than him. Go on, Brereton. Have a crack, son. Oh, straight to the keeper. I had to hit it early because they slowed down after that first touch. 
Oh, that's good stuff now. It is Brereton. Get it in towards the back post. It is creeping in. And it looks like we do have an injury, actually. I'm not too sure who it was. I couldn't quite see there. I just saw the icon. Oh, no. Our defenders are getting dragged everywhere. They're just toying with us. They really are. I'm not sure whether they want to win or not, or they're just taking the absolute piss. Well, Lane. Counter. Make your own, Madge. Go on. Go on, Madge. You've got this, son. You've got this, Madge. Get it in towards the back post. Oh, that's so poor. Really, really poor cross that. But we do get a corner from it. Right, I'm making three substitutions of my own. We've got McGeeock coming on. Gooch is coming off. Uh, Robinson is coming off as well. Because it was him who's picked up a bit of an arc. And he is being replaced by Jones. And Magic is going to come off as well. And he's been replaced by Vyman. Just under 10 minutes left. Again, there's not much going on. But in saying that, come on, Akapo, please get across. Well in. Brilliant defending from Akapo, putting his head on the line there. Here they come again. Plenty of Leeds bodies making their way forward now. The through. Come on, Baldwin. Can you catch up with him? Go on, Baldwin. Go on, Baldwin. Don't you dare. Oh, come on. Stay on your feet, man. It's a good save. Get it out. Shit. Yes, the full-time whistle goes, and that has to be the most difficult game I've played so far this series, and somehow we've ended up with the win. Brereton with the early goal, but we've been shocking other than that, absolutely shocking, or Leeds have just been absolutely excellent. I'll take it, guys. We're still unbeaten in our second season, though. I'll have it. Look at those stats. Look at those stats. We've had two shots to their seven. They've had just a little bit more possession. Jesus Christ, guys, we really did uh, get a bit of luck with that one. So, guys, after that game, luckily, Robinson's injury is only minor and he will be out for five days. But now we are going back into the championship where we'll be taking on Brentford. Brentford are currently 16th. They've won one of their opening five games, drawing two and losing two as well. Whereas we are currently 9th. Uh, with one ten and drew three, still unbeaten. Can we continue that brilliant form in this game? So this is the team we're going to be using against Brentford. We've got Plazari in goal, James Twanzaby, Suter and Matthews across the back. We have Honeyman, McGeoch and Onion in midfield. And we have Jones, Vyman and Oblin up top as well. Let's get into it. And here we are, guys, away from home at Brentford. Now, I have, of course, had to make several changes, as you did see in the lineup there, what we were just mentioning and what we were just talking about because of fitness reasons, because the, uh, the game against Leeds was, I think it was only two days apart, so we have had to make several changes. But I think our strike force, in particular, is more than good enough to keep this run going. But Brentford isn't going to be an easy game at all. Good little ball there for Vyman to get onto. Get it in, son. Oh, it's a decent ball. Can anyone get there? They can't. It's been scrambled away. Early on, we tend to really put teams under pressure in the opening sort of five, ten minutes. What a ball that is. From Plazari. Out wide to Reese James. He's bombing forward now. Gets it to Vyman. He can hit one. Surely Vyman is hit the, hit the bar and it's cleared away. How many times have we hit the woodwork in this series? It's a piss take. What a ball that is out wide. Go and get the shores. Easy, Plazari. Well played. Oh, this is good now from Brentford. Coming down the left. Get it out. Get it out. Please, headed. Thank God. Plazari held, held that one. Saved us a good few times already in this episode. Make you run over top, Oblin. Go on, beat him to it. Go on, Oblin. Go on, Oblin. Look at that pace. Look at that pace. Let's be naughty. Across goal. Oh, my God. I tried to be cocky. I tried to be naughty. Oh, I can't believe I didn't just shoot then. Dick. And there goes the half-time whistle, guys. A lot better. A much better performance from the game against Leeds in the last one. We just haven't taken our chances. We look so much better attacking-wise. Brentford have had... A, a small couple of chance, chances, sorry. I can't talk at all today. It's pissing me off. But nothing too serious at all. I can feel a goal coming, guys. I can feel it. Well, Lane. Give it him back. Give it him back. Oh, it's a bit behind him. Spoils the flow of play a little bit there. Help him out. Jones. Oh, Nayan. On the counter. On the overlap, sorry, by Matthews. Whipping in towards the back post. Surely. That was a shot, man. That was a shot. That would be a throw. Jesus, shit. Such cagey football now in the middle. Both teams regularly losing the ball. Oh, no, but they are breaking. Go on, Swansby. Get across to him. Get across to him. Oh, he's missed it. Hit, and it's a very good save. 
so quickly they've countered. They haven't touched the ball for the first 10-15 minutes of this half. But that break nearly done us. Get it out, get it out. Come on, keeper, come across, come across, come across. Good save again. God, how the tables have turned. They're playing all their corners short. They've done us this time. Come on, lads. Saw that coming and intercepted. Get one over the top for Oberlin to chase, and that is an absolutely fantastic ball. He's one on the keeper at an angle. Surely now, Oberlin, he's got his first goal for the club. Get in! What a brutal counter attack that is. You can't let Oberlin run in behind because he's one of the fastest, play fastest players on that pitch and probably in this league as well. What a finish, song. Come on! It all started off from the, uh, from the Brentford corner. You put the ball over the top. Oberlin will nine times out of ten get on the end of it. And that's a lovely little finish as well. I think the keeper got a touch on it. But who cares? We're in the lead, guys. Who cares? We're in the lead. Who cares? So Gomez and Watmore will be coming on for the final 20 minutes. Can we hold on to this? This would be absolutely amazing. We're really grinding out results in the championship at the minute. Get across. I've got acres of space around the box here. Come on, close him, close him. Come on. That'll do. They're not harming us here. Get it out, well in. Here they come. Five minutes remaining. They're bombing down this right side. Get it away. Captain Twanzerby saves the day, as per usual. We love you, son. Brentford on the ball. Probably the last attack of the game. Come on. Don't let him come forward with it. Close down every option. Come on. Oh, please no, please no, not this. Oh, thank God. It's a poor ball. The whistle goes. We've won the game. And we're grinding out these 1-0 wins. We really, really are. We're really overdoing it. We're overperforming massively. We're not beating teams 3-4-5-0, but we're managing to scrape. Even if it, the game is relatively even, we're managing to scrape wins at the minute and it's another three points to our collection guys so this is where we're going to leave the episode guys and as you can see we are in third which is absolutely insane that is by far way past my expectations i had in my head at this point but to be undefeated that is absolutely excellent but as you can see brighton are top of the league winning six from six which is brilliant villa in second we are in third we have Sheffield united southampton and norwich in the playoff places and in the bottom three we have scunthorpe who just come up with us Charlton in there as well, along with QPR. So if you have enjoyed this episode, guys, please hit the like button for me. It would be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully-fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, you take care and stay jamming.